this is Kelly from Root Pursuit Junk Journals and today we're working on this project I did a long time ago. Um, I came up with it, I want to say like two years ago and I've, I'd like to try it again because it was super fun. So this is basically just two envelopes. These happen to be uh, some cool airmail envelopes and then uh, little pockets inside and the washi tape putting it together. Here's another one that I did. So a little bit of florally decorative. I use some security envelopes to make little interior pockets here and then some index cards that just fit inside. This is like Tim Holtz paper. So, and then that was the back. So I am excited, I've got some new ideas and I'm gonna give it a go. I've got two envelopes that I'm gonna start out with. These are, you know, just your sort of typical, this has a little bit of like, uh, I don't know what you would call that. They're like little tiny gray blue fla uh, flecks on the envelope. So it's got, it's kind of a a pretty envelope it's a little bit different like this is a gray one and then that's the one with the flex I don't know if you can see that on the camera but there it is and uh, I'm just gonna ink the edges of these envelopes and the first step I I like to do with these is uh, get them taped together so you kind of have an idea of how that's gonna affect it because you know It'll cover up a little bit of the outside. So, that one's done. That looks pretty good. Well, we can do this part too, a little bit. There we go, just a little inking to get, get a little distressed. Okay, so first things first, with this kind of an envelope, I think I'm gonna leave the flaps and then that changes a little bit how we're gonna put these together. So I'm just gonna select some washi tape. I may end up, you, you may never even end up seeing this washi tape, but um, we're gonna put this stuff on. Get it kind of peeled up. I like this washi tape too. We'll see how it goes. It's kind of neat, neat look to it. I don't want to cover up anything so we'll see how that goes I'll put a little glue on there too just to reinforce it I just put my glue stick away and uh, I'm getting out <laughs> I was like oh I'm not gonna need that mm hmm guess I am Probably, and then just just put them together, just like so. I'm gonna go all the way up to the edge. We'll see how that works out for us. Well, I might as well just wrap this up right on the bottom because we're gonna put that on both sides. You don't need to use washi tape for this. You can just use paper. Uh, just make sure it's not a very old fragile book page or something like that so where'd my washi tape go here we go <laughs> just appeared on me already oh that's the end of it that is the end well where does the sticky stop right about right about there so i'm just gonna oh, give this a straight edge i think because we can bring it right up to the top Put a little glue stick on there. Yeah, we may we may not end up being able to see any of this washi tape by the time we're done. Go right to the edge there. Oh, that was not the same washi tape. It's not the same width. <laughs> Hello. Still doesn't matter. Okay. 
Okay. That part is done. Just give it a little burnish. And we're good. Now the fun part. So I've got this little piece of paper. Oh, I think I already inked this. I did. And we're going to put that there. I want to put it this way, I think. Yes. Make sure. Got the little. How do I want that? Oh, a little. Just a little off the bottom. That should do it. This is, uh, I don't know, some invoices. I made a master board out of antique invoices and then photocopied it. So that's what I got going on here. But I thought that would make like a nice background for the envelope. Make it a little more interesting. Now, I've got had these old, uh, like 1970s, 60s. Oh, that says March 70s, so I guess that tells you what the date is there. And they had the little uh, addresses on them, so that'll be pretty handy. Put that on there. These cute little labels. made. That's my return address. And then I have to pick one of these. So I can do this one or I can do that one. Yeah, I kind of like this one. We'll try that. I do want to use, use like a, a canceled stamp. Let's see what I've got here. Here's one. Try that. Uh-oh. We've got our acrylic block, so we might as well use it. What do we do? Red? I think I have red around here. I do. Oh, oh. Red's fun for the... We'll just do a second one. Add a little interest to that. You can even do, I don't know, I think they've got different things on here like um, post office. You can maybe try that, post office, because why not? And I do like to use blue. Where's my, where's my blue? Where's my acrylic block? I lost it already. Well, that was fast. Okay, blue ink. Oh, I keep doing that. I have them sitting in there sideways now. Not sure about that. Oh, that's upside down. Yeah, I stuck my finger right in there. Don't do that. Good enough. So that's kind of fun. I do have this one. I don't know if I want that on there. Oh yeah, that does look nice. I gotta wipe this off. There we go. We'll just put this down at the bottom. That looks kind of nice. these little stamps with the script. I know I just have so many of these right now that what do I want to use? Oh, those are blanks. I would try this. We don't have to use all of it. Just a little dabble do ya. Just like kind of like that situation. 
half of it. I think we can use tea dye, because why not? A little more right there. There we go. There, that's nice. Just a little script right there. It looks cute. Good stuff. So far, so good. Those are adorable. And since we're leaving these flaps, oh, I kind of forgot to tuck this in. Okay, so I'm just wrapping that little washi tape over the edge there. Hopefully it doesn't give me any trouble. <laughs> now, this part, obviously they make a good pocket, a goo, a goo pocket, a good pocket. And I've got this washi tape with the little faux, uh, what do you call these things? Wax, wax seals. I'll try one. That one's too big for these little circles. I've got these little cream colored circles just because this washi tape can be a little finicky with it not being that all that translucent. So I'm just gonna oops. And then oh, so the cream worked really well. That's good. Now now I'm just gonna ink the heck out of it because I just think that will make it look better <laughs> along the edges there to kind of and then I'll just glue it on that envelope like that that's kind of cute a little faux wax seal kind of like it these are kind of plain. I might have to stamp them up a little bit. What other color? We can just use a different color. I've got, um, try this one. I'm not sure. Some of these are funky shapes. This one will work well. Just put those all over there. <laughs> and then we'll trim the edges. Try not to trim our wax seal, but my aim isn't that great today, it turns out. Get all this washi tape off my scissors. Put that on there. Ink it up. Well, the, um, it's interesting, this particular washi tape isn't taking the, the brown ink that well, which is fine but it usually does. And then I'll put one on that side too, because why not? And then what do we do? They're kind of cute like that, but I figure we could maybe put a little something fun. I've got some images in here. We could do a little collage, gramophone. What do we think about gramophone? <laughs> Right in the middle, cover up that envelope spot. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not super sure about what I want to do. That's not bad. This is kind of that size. I can't decide. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to stamp it. Let's stamp it. I need a little background, maybe some script. Script. I can talk. We're going to need some ink. We're gonna go with the brown tea dye. Just ink, not not uh, oxide. Where do I have a little scrap? Okay, I'm just gonna put that in there so I don't. I like to go at a diagonal. Get my edges. Oh yeah, that looks that looks very good. There we go. I think 
at that. That's pretty cute. And I think, I think we'll just leave it at that because honestly, maybe we'll do, oh, this might be fun just to do like a little uh, circle off to the side or something. Yeah. Doesn't need much. I think the left is better. A little French seal, maybe another label on the other side. Got this giant parcel post. No, not really. Got this, no. Something blue. On that side? Yeah. I could have put maybe some of my collected what do you call those things? Uh, paper clusters that are already put together, perhaps, but maybe I'll do like a double. A couple, couple labels. Adding some stamps to the inside of these would be pretty nice too. I feel like there's not enough ink here. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure I know what subtle distress inking is, but that's cute. I'm probably going to leave the back empty on that. I'm going to do another one. So let's try another one. I've got these gray envelopes. I did distress these already. And for these, I tucked them in the, the top, uh, you know, the envelope flap. I never know what the word is for that for some unknown reason the uh but anyway the envelope flap um yeah i don't even need to cut it off you could cut it off if you wanted to but i think i think just tucking it in is pretty fabulous perfectly acceptable idea this one you could add another pocket to, down there too but for now we're going to worry about washi tape and putting those together Yeah, I like this one still. Still, I like it. Let's trim that. Get some extra reinforcement. I see I left my glue stick uncapped. So, we'll try to line these guys up. This envelope kind of lends itself nicely. Whoa, whoa, whoa. For the way that the top of that envelope is. Kind of got a little crooked. All right, we need to make sure our envelopes are lined up. Not quite enough to wrap around, I don't think. I wonder how this one would look, or if that's too light. This is older washi tape. It's hoarding it a little bit. <laughs> I think that would look good with an envelope. With a, you know, an, an addressed envelope. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good washi tape before washi tape quality went down. <laughs> That's a nice high quality one. Now what do we add? Okay, I've got this, which I, I, I wimped out on using the original and I made a photocopy of it. This is not sitting, it's like crumply or something. What have we done? Hopefully it's not permanently crunchy. Oh yeah, it is permanently crunchy. It's not quite laying the way I want it to. I'll play with it later. What can you do? Just, it's not going to do it. All right. <laughs> Just move on. <laughs> Moving on. 
But anyway, I love this, this sort of red and blue stripe on those envelopes. So cool. So uh, I found it and I was kind of looking through there for letters and postcards and things like that that would kind of, that would give me some inspiration. And I found this. And then I thought, I'm just going to make a copy of it. I know I've gotten printer happy lately. I've got my printer here and it's working wonderfully and I'm, I'm really liking it. But, uh, yeah, let's see what else we've got. Got a little stamp to put there. I think this is the stamp I want to use. I'm just going to put this a little bit higher in that corner. You still see the airmail spot. Then what do I want? I think I can use this one. Kind of cover up. That other address, I like this one a little better. So we'll use that. Get that gluing on. I'm a little uh, unsure of whether or not I wanna keep that pink in there, but I, I kinda really like it on this one. I do have all these like, giant numbers in here. Which way does this go? This way. There we go. So maybe yeah, we'll try one. We'll see how it looks. If we don't like it, we don't like it. Oh, wrong box. Something like one of these giant numbers. The one time Timu sends me numbers and uh, it turns out they're actually bigger. Okay, yes. Okay, I'm a fan. Now these are stickers, so I'm gonna, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I am gonna try to distress the edges. Hopefully, yes, yes, confirmed. It is a sticker. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Oh, that's good stuff right there. Look at that, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That's awesome. All right, then what do we do with the inside? Well, this one is so, mm, what I refer to as utility looking. You know, it's got just like the numbers and all the functional labels and everything. It's not frilly, it's not, so I kind of don't see myself putting like a butterfly or a flower on there. I see me putting more of the numbers and labels and go in that direction. Oh, I do have this one. This might be fun. I don't know if this, that doesn't work. But I do like this, so we're gonna do that. That's a yes on that. If I'm really ambitious today, maybe I'll put that right on the edge, that'll work. Uh, then I might put this, make some tags or I do like putting uh, index cards with the tabs on them, the tabbed index cards, which I used in those other ones, my sample ones, which are here, which I thought was a really cute idea. And they happen to just fit per pretty much, pretty close to perfect in these, in the envelopes. So that worked out. Um, that's another idea to do with that. Now. You know what might be fun with this is I have these new like calligraphy pen images. That might be fun. Do I do just one or two? Should I do it on the sides? Just one side. Ooh, I like the side. Okay, we'll do that. Why does my acrylic thing have to be clear? Like you want it to be clear, but then you don't. Because <laughs> then you can't see it. <laughs> But you need it to be clear so you can see through it and see your image. Oh, so tricky. Okay. What color? I really feel like black is the way to go. But where's my black ink? Where could it be? It's supposed to be over here. But it's not. It probably is. It's just under there. Deeper, deeper than I, than I 
I can find. Let's see if this black ink still works. Okay. Dun dun dun. First time my calligraphy pen is a little bit side wampus. Side wampus. I want it to be straight, I think. Here we go. I did it. Hopefully. Stay put. I love the idea of the calligraphy. Isn't that nice? It's beautiful. Now we've got an ink blotter here too. These are fun. We might tr we might use another one of those. We'll see. Okay. Now what other labels can we throw on there? I'm I'm very label. Not really. Um, I got a lot of labels right now. That's what I'm trying to say. So many labels. We'll just trim, trim, trim. Seems like red would go with this nicely. I want a stamp on there. What kind of stamp do I have? need a little bit of script. Usually my... That's not bad. Does that work? Not quite. Ooh, doodles. Not block letters. This one maybe? I think this one will work. That will work. Oh, I lost my... <laughs> Black. Okay, just throw these on the other side. I shouldn't even be allowed to have these 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 uh, acrylic stamps. Kind of a disaster with them. I can't keep them organized to save my life. Although this is nice. If only I would put them back in there when I was done. That would be awesome. That's totally upside down, so that's cool. Um, <laughs> oh, yes, I did. Put that upside down. Put it back. Yay, put it back. That wasn't my favorite. My favorite this choice. I don't think there's much more of that in there. Negatory. Okay. Wait, do I have like an ink blotter in here? I thought I did. I don't want to put an ink blotter. I've got like uh, safety pins. There's technically an ink blotter, but it's, I feel like I had some ink blotters. So what did you do with them? I lost them. No. I mean, I didn't technically lose them. I just put them in a place where I can't find them right now. Just for a second. <laughs> we'll check in here. I got some ink blotters recently, but apparently not. Okay. Just give it up. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Remember when you said you were going to give it up? Yes, I remember. <sighs> Alright. Officially. Officially given up. Okay, labels. What do we need here? Oh, there's a nice fragile handle with care. That might be fun. These two might go together. That could work. I don't want that. And maybe some more of my, some of this, that, and the other thing. Wait, I already cut one of these up a little bit. We'll use some of that one. Maybe this guy. There we go. A little ink on the edge. Or a big smear in the middle. That's what I meant to say. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Let's put that off to the side. We're just collaging here. We're just putting stuff. Any kind of old kind of paperwork type stuff. That's where we're going with that. Fragile this way. Okay, because 
we can. Nobody's stopping us. Now, do I want that across there? Not quite. Not exactly what I want. Those are giant. Holy schmoly. That's not bad. Hmm. I didn't I didn't really think I would like these for how huge they are, but they're actually kind of cool. Can I go all the way to the edge? I sure can. Now where do I put here? No. This one's kind of wide. Hmm. But maybe that's not a problem. Maybe that's exactly what I need. And then like a circle one right here. Hold on. Oh dear. Of course I got a little, I got a little lazy with my fussy cutting. I gave up on cutting out the circles after a while. What about the turquoise? Do we like that color better? Not really. I think I want like at least red, but maybe pink would work. I'll cut it out. Yeah, after I fussy cut for a long time, I can do, go for like three hours, but then when I start getting to the end of my, my I start, oh, I'll just finish that one later. <laughs> I don't want to do that one. That's what happens to me a little bit sometimes. If I put this on, we're going to just totally not even realize it was pink once, once ago. It's just once ago. I think this needs some ink. I think that would help everything. Make it all work out. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. really far across the bottom. Oh, these are kind of matchy-matchy. Mm -hmm. I think that's good. Do to do. All right, do, is there any like text or numbers or things like that, labels I want to put up there? That doesn't look right to me. I think I like the file. It's going to need some more. Seems a little pristine. Is that what I'm trying to say? This one's kind of already. Maybe that's the one I need right there. Same size. We're going to cut the corners. No sharp edges. And get Layer and layer it. How fun. That's cute. I do like it. I like it, I like it. Do we like these little curves? I think we do. Some part of me like wants to, I don't know, trim them off. But they're good. They're, they're nice. Don't trim them off. And then I can save, you know, some kind of a, look at that cover. Ooh, I like that. But they are cute too when they have some kind of a little tab sticking out. This one's got like little whale tails at the top. I feel like if I had done this again, I would have done one, two, two like in the middle of this tab and then um, have them just 
be like I'll show you so the tabs would end up being like sort of like this in the middle that's probably how I would have done it probably look best if you had three but no the two looks good yeah I wouldn't I think if I had to do that over again I would do it that way and I can I can do it over again <laughs> Oh, there's that so we got these two and I think I want to try one more I do have these tiny little coin envelopes so same same you just want to find two of them kind of ink these guys up I think I'll put them this way you know you know there's so many ways that you can kind of change this up a bit I'm gonna do the inside too as I can. Do, do, do. And then what I did with that one is I just kind of bent this a little bit because it's not glued all the way down to that edge and it made it really easy to just ink that one edge. And I think it looks a lot better like that. Where you can see the, the lines of the envelope a little bit better. I'll probably end up covering them up so it may not, it may not matter at all. But I'm going to have those two side pockets this direction. I'm going to move these this a witch away. You know, honestly, I could use one of these little labels. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh. But no, I'm not going to. Uh, what do we have here? Let's see if we can use this. This is like fun numbers. This has, I'm pretty sure this is uh, Tim Holtz. We'll just... I'm pretty positive and this way you actually line it up correctly then you can just kind of go like that trim it to trim it and then bend them over and hopefully they line up not like that one I did okay so now we've got this and this is from this is from a digital in I'll link it in the description. Oh, just remembered I forgot to link the last video. Uh, there was a link I was supposed to. Uh, but I didn't. Anyway, this is a digital. It's called Mini Notepads. And um, so I'm going to use that as my background. Try to give that a whirl. Yeah, it's, this is what the sheet looks like. Put that on there. Now what do we have? We've got a little, little stamp. Look at that glue. It glues down so nice. It's my art glitter glue. If you didn't know. There's a nice original stamp. It says... 1898 to 99. That's old stamp. Whoo, that's original. Okay. Got to make this one good to live up to that that uh, that stamp. <laughs> I like that right there. That's good. Sort of like a little mini envelope. Now what do we have for our return address? I don't know. I had something over here. I think I lost it. What about this one, maybe? Or I kind of had my heart set on something really brown. Neutral? Uh, 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 what did you do? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I can just use something else. I wonder how this would look. I just don't want any, that one's not grungy enough, I think. Like a return address? Yeah, I like that. That's good. Good stuff. T 
just look how cute that is. That's adorable. Oh my goodness. Now we have to figure out what to put in here. I don't know. I mean, honestly, you don't have to. It looks pretty nice. As is. What else do we have? Some kind of a little box. That's cute. I didn't think I was going to like that, but I did. I did like it. I think I'm just going to leave it blank. I think that kind of adds to the... And then wherever, whatever journal this ends up in, make it kind of a unique, even maybe handwritten thing, something like that. Mayhaps. Anything else? Oh, I got all of these. Oh, that would have been good. One of those tinies would have been good for a return address if I had found it at the time. Oh, these numbers are fun too. Just go like really random. Dun, dun, dun. That's upside down. Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay, I like that. <laughs> Who knew? This is like a blueprint label that I, I made these. Some weird filter on my phone that turns things into reverse, reverse uh, images, reverse the colors, so it changes all the light things to dark and all the dark things to light. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know about that on the cream. Not Super happy with it. Guess I'm just too picky. No. No, no, no. I don't know why, but nothing looks sort of correct next to, next to this. Put something right on there. Okay. Yeah. Do a little on the bottom there and on the top here. There we go. Very good. All right, now I'm wondering, yes, I think that could work right there. I'm gonna trim it a little more. Oh, I trimmed the border off. My hand got a little twitchy. Whoa, this label does not want to be there. I don't know why, but I not I don't like it. Now all of a sudden I put it down. I thought I liked it. Now I don't. That's ridiculous. If I do like this, if I put them like that, they're kind of connected. Do I go to the side? No, that side. <laughs> Too many decisions. I think I'm gonna leave it how it is. Try not to overdo it. Yeah, it's fine. Now, what about something on this? I gotta get rid of these because I really love these labels, but they do not look right on this <laughs> And I've used a bunch of them on there already. And that makes no sense. So there. I think what this needs is like some really light stamping on there, like the script. Ooh. Um, I said light, but I didn't say invisible. <laughs> 
Oh well. And invisible it is. <laughs> okay, just a little bit more. <laughs> just a little more color there. That really does help. Make it sort of. There we go. So there's that. Just, you know, simple. The front is. Wow! There's some little, little, little pockets. Put wonderful little, little goodies in. Maybe one of these raffle tickets. Just put that right in there. La la la. I'll slip down and you'll never find it again. I feel like it has to go on something bigger. Otherwise it will it will literally get lost in there forever. For real it will. I and me and my labels, I love them, but wow. I must have too many to make good decisions. And I have to pull every single one out. Contemplate it. I have far too many of this one kind. So there's that problem. Ooh, look at this little tiny, tiny oval one. Okay. That just, that, no, like, I was really not happy with it. And just this one little tiny envelope, oval label makes me happy. Just like that. Just like that makes the whole thing work. I don't know why, but it did. I mean, I know why. Sort of, I know why. Because of this red and that red brings it all together. Yep. Cute. Very cute. Well, good. <laughs> so now there's a bunch of these. And they're all fun. How many of these? Where's the other one I made? Oh, it's hiding under here. This was the the first one. These are cute. Don't you love these? That didn't take that long either. You could go do all kinds of different directions. I did want to make one that was sort of like reminded me of like Tim Holtz or something like that. So that's fun. If you're interested in finding out what wonderful cool things you want to buy in my Etsy shop, you can check out the link in the description below. And as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.